Hello, my fellow Godzilla fans. I'm Godzilla Guy G, and I am back. And yes, I know I'm making another video on Godzilla vs. Kong. This is the third one in a row. Trust me, the next video will be something different. Hopefully. But either way, now that we've gotten some more footage from the movie and some very, very good memes, I thought it would be a good time to make a video about some of the things that I personally want to see in this film. Before I do so, however, I first off want to say that the things I mentioned in this video will not be in any particular order. These are just 5 things I want, it's not a top 5 list. Also, these are just the things that I want to see. Not the things you want to see, just the things I want to see. These are all just my personal opinions, so if you don't agree with me, that's completely fine, we all have our own opinions, just don't be a jerk about it in the comments, okay? Without further ado, here are 5 things that I want to see in Godzilla vs Kong. So the first thing I want to see is a very simple thing. I want to see some references to the original King Kong vs Godzilla. Now this isn't obligatory for the movie to do, however, references are oftentimes a very fun way to reward the fans of the franchise by giving them some small details that perhaps only they will notice. For example, just off the top of my head, what if in the scene where they're transporting Kong on the boat, Someone could make a joke about their first idea being that they were going to use giant balloons in order to get Kong off the island. You know, like they do in the original. Like, it isn't, again, it isn't necessary, and I don't know if it would be that funny or not, but it would be a nice and fun little reference, and that's just one of many examples I could come up with. I also think the people working on this movie could really pull it off, since I think the references they made to the original source material in Kong and the Monsters was done very well and I really enjoyed the references. So yeah, this is probably the least important thing on this video, however it would still be very nice to see some references to the original. Another thing I want to see is Mechagodzilla being done justice. So far we haven't seen Mechagodzilla in any of the trailers, unless this right here is actually Mechagodzilla, or if the Godzilla we see in the trailer is actually Mechagodzilla just in disguise. I mean, who knows really. All I want is for them to make Mechagodzilla an intimidating threat, and I'm positive they'll do a very good job on this, because I think the way they handled Ghidorah in King of the Monsters was amazingly done, and he was extremely terrifying and intimidating whenever he was on screen. So honestly, I have high hopes for Mechagodzilla in the MonsterVerse, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see until the movie comes out to actually confirm it. The third thing I want to see are some flashback scenes. Now in the trailer they mention a war, which I'm guessing now is, was between the Godzilla species and Kong species? I'm not too sure, it could be something else, but they do imply it in the trailer, so yeah. Either way though, either way what the kind of war this is, it would be awesome to see some flashback scenes. We've already gotten a couple of shots in the trailers that might be from this war. I'm not completely sure, they could be in the modern day as well. But either way, I'm, I really do hope that we do get some flashback scenes to this. Well, if they're needed anyways. It would be really cool. And I'm guessing it would look really nice as well because... From what we've seen, this movie is going to have great cinematography, and I think giving us some flashback scenes could really give us some amazing shots, and it would just be really cool in general. I'm not too sure if we'll get it, but I really hope we do. Another thing I want to see is that I want to see more of the four kaiju that we saw in Godzilla King of the Monsters. Those being Methuselah, Scylla, Behemoth, and the third Muto. They only had a couple of scenes in Godzilla King of the Monsters and weren't giving much of a focus, however I think they're all pretty cool and I want to see more of them, especially Methuselah which is my personal favorite and Behemoth which is a really unique and cool design. Of course it would also be nice to see some new kaiju and maybe some of the ones that we know about but haven't actually seen yet, but I still think it would be cool to see these ones return as well since they've actually made appearances and their designs are so good that I'd hate for them to just go to waste. I mean, I know the movie is about Godzilla fighting Kong, but it would be nice if they would find a way to, you know, just add them in there somewhere. And the fifth and final thing I want to see in Godzilla vs Kong is that I want to see it improve on the things that didn't work quite so well in Godzilla King the Monsters. And when I say that, I'm mainly referring to two things. Characters and script. Now I'm someone who actually really likes King of the Monsters, however that doesn't mean that I can't see some of its flaws. And two of them are the script and the characters. 
Now the cast for the movie are very good and they all did a very good job and then some of them did manage to sell their lines pretty well. However, the characters are very flat and uninteresting. The one exception was Dr. Serosawa, however, he's dead. And all the other characters were either very bland or kind of annoying. And this was due to the script, which while well, not the worst thing I've ever heard, and not even the worst script I've heard in like Haiju movie, it wasn't very good and it was filled with a lot of cringy and awkward lines. Now don't get me wrong, I do like having some cheese in my Godzilla movie, however I just feel like the movie went a bit too far at times and it felt like it was trying a bit too hard to be funny. So the things I want Godzilla vs Kong to improve on are to make the character more interesting either by introducing new and more interesting characters or improving the old ones. And the second thing it would be to make the script a bit better and less cringy. They can still include some cheesy lines here and there, I have no problem with that. However, just maybe tone down the jokes a bit and we'll be golden. And that does it for 5 things that I want to see in Godzilla vs Kong. Now be sure to tell me guys what you guys want to see in this movie down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video of mine. So see you later guys, bye bye.